Hello, everybody. I hope everyone's safe and healthy during this difficult time of the pandemic. How I wish I could see your faces, but at least you can see mine. I'm ecstatic and excited to be here today. I am CJ Rojas, and today I will share to you the story of the dream weavers and the lesson that I have learned from them that changed my life forever. Weaving a dream is a figurative phrase, which means to create something. But for the Tiboli women of the highlands of the province of South Cotabato in the Philippines, weaving a dream means everything. Friends, I came from a place in the Philippines where a certain tribe claims that the inimitable patterns that they weave came from their dreams. Then they make it into a fabric called Tinalak. I am talking about the Tiboli women of the province of South Cotabato, commonly known as the Dream Weavers. It was six years ago when I had the opportunity to meet and have a conversation with them up close for my college thesis. Along with my group mates, we hiked the highlands to gather relevant data. The focus of our study is to capture quantitative information as to how much these dream weavers earn. Thus, the title of our thesis is The Profitability of Tinalak. During the course of our study, we observed that weaving tinalak is nothing but a tedious process, which involves numerous steps for a single cloth to be completed. Making tinalak, in simple term, is a lot of work. But despite the labor-intensive process in weaving, the cloth's richness in cultural value, the intricate and authentic craftsmanship involved, the tinala cloth costs almost nothing. The first thought that came to my mind is, why? Why would these Tiboli women do something laborious without getting well compensated? I mean, what's in it for them? Would you do something laborious without getting well compensated? I wouldn't. Confused at the time, I can't help but ask. Why? Subi, one of our respondents and one of the dream weavers said that Tinalak represents the achievement of their dreams and no amount of money can remunerate their feeling of joy when weaving. She also added that their greater happiness lies in enjoying the process of weaving. At that time, I said to myself, what is she talking about? Weaving? Enjoying the process? It just doesn't make sense. You see, people can only be happy if they achieve their dream. Don't you think I'm correct? Talking about dreams, let me tell you something about mine. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamt to travel the world. At a very young age, I was very inquisitive. I always asked myself the question, how? How could I be able to do that? How could I be able to realize my dream? At that time, I have two options. It's either I'm going to be a pilot or a cabin crew. However, the first option seems not an option at all, since my parents couldn't afford it. So I set my eyes in option number two, and that is being a cabin crew. While I was in the university, I made sure that I improved myself so I could be able to fit in the job. Communication skills, check. Appearance, double check. Height, 50-50. But my confidence was 150. After finishing my studies, I got a permanent job in a government agency in the Philippines. They say that as long as you don't commit anything illegal, you can keep the job until you die. Others find it reassuring. I, on the other hand, find it terrifying. What terrified me the most is not being able to give my dream a shot before it's too late. 
The urge to explore and defy limits has always been inside me. And I felt I couldn't contain it any longer. That's why a year after I resigned from that job, used all of my savings, and booked a one-way ticket to Doha, Qatar. Impulsive, I know, but I was full of hopes that one day I am going to become a cabin crew and ultimately I am going to be happy. I arrived in Doha in year 2016 during the month of Ramadan under a one-month validity tourist visa with no one in here but a single friend. Crazy and risky, right? That's why I don't, I don't recommend people to do it. And on top of that, I wasn't informed that most of the people here during Ramadan are busy, feeling hungry and sleepy. However, I persevered the office timing constraints and the humidity as well, and I was able to submit my applications. And guess what? A week after, CJ got his reply. A regret notice. I said to myself, never mind. One rejection should not stop you from achieving your dream. I became more determined. I sent countless applications and I got countless rejections, one after the other. At that time, my visa was expiring. My money was tight. I got no one in here to support me. Just like the reals in my pocket, I felt the hopes of fulfilling my dream started to vanish. And then just like an answered prayer, I received an email that says, we are hiring for a welfare officer. Are you interested? I thought cabin crews are overrated. Well, I didn't want to go home as a failure, so I accepted the offer. I ended up working and living in Al Khor, in a porta cabin. At least, it's a cabin. But feeling isolated from the rest of the world, feeling lost, I dreaded every single day of my life. I asked myself, what now? CJ, this is not what you have dreamt of. I felt I've lost my dream. When was the last time you felt you've lost yours? At that night, I decided to go out and gaze at the stars, hoping to find some answers, some clarity in my situation. That's when I remembered my way up to the highlands, and I recalled Subi's words, happiness lies in the process. I realized I was so caught up in achieving my dream that I ignored opportunities, limited my happiness to being a cabin crew alone. And most importantly, I missed life's precious moments. How about you? Are you enjoying the process? Since that day, I started to appreciate the new pattern that life has presented me in the Porta Cabin where I discovered my gift in human resources and communications. I got promoted in my job. Actually, I find a better opportunity when it comes to my job. And the most important thing, and the fun thing too, I was able to travel the world. I didn't need to be a cabin crew after all. In life, when you stop the pressure of chasing your dream, your dream starts chasing you. When you enjoy the process, you feel grateful that pulls your dream towards you. Enjoying the process made me notice the smallest things in life that are very important. I was able to value and strengthen my relationships. I was able to connect with a lot of people. And most importantly, I was able to find peace within myself. When you enjoy the process, you grow more that pulls your dream towards you. Enjoying the process have led me to explore some areas in my life that I didn't know I was capable of, such as public speaking. Back in 2018, 
I joined Philcom International Toastmasters Club, one of the premier Toastmasters Club in Doha, Qatar, which helped me hone my potentials and help me become the speaker that I am today. When you enjoy the process, you live with more purpose that pulls your dream towards you. Enjoying the process made me realize my why in life. And I have learned that it is not something that you find, but it is something you decide to become. As for my why, it is to be able to inspire people with my stories and ultimately help them become the best version of themselves. Today is a proof how far enjoying the process can take you. I didn't plan this, yet here I am, sharing my story with you. Last year, who would have known that I would win Qatar Talks 2019 and would be able to inspire, connect with people of different nationalities from all over the country. I didn't know I could speak in public and win an award. Once you allow yourself to enjoy the process, you'll never know what you'll become. Friends, what is your dream? What is your tinalak? Now tinalak has already walked the streets of Paris, Milan, and New York, all because the Tiboli women enjoyed the process of weaving. In the tapestry of your life, your weaving may sometimes fall short of strands. Fibers may get tangled or even break loose. Achieving your dream is not a guarantee. The only guarantee is your choice to enjoy the process. Today, we are faced with a new reality where achieving our dream feels like not a guarantee. Perhaps you feel scared, depressed, or discouraged. Don't be. This is not the end of your dreams, but just a part of the process. To all the youth out there, wherever you are in the world, I invite you to continue to aim for your dream. And remember, happiness lies in the process. Enjoy the process and awaken the dream weaver in each one of you. Thank you.